Thank you. Your hands all ready to go. Michaela Stokes. Over to you. Oh, this is a very weird microphone. I've only used a microphone once and it wasn't like this. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. okay, I'll probably forget to do that. All right, cool. Hi, guys. So, I'm Michaela. Oh, no, not yet, Colour. No. <laughs> um, that's me. So, um, yeah, I'm a year 13 student at Western Springs College. So, right now, if you talk to anyone who knows me, they'd be like, Oh my gosh, Michaela is such a nerd with all her robotics and science stuff. And she actually likes math. <sighs> but the thing is, um, five years ago, I used to hate this stuff. After all, STEM subjects were just for the nerdy boys. We never learned much about them in primary school. And, it seemed, and they seemed incredibly boring and difficult. Sitting, a de sitting at a desk all day, doing boring calculations that just made no sense. That's what all my friends said too. Um, but the representation of STEM to me and my female classmates didn't help much either. Our Barbie dolls and pink wash TV shows proving to be a little less than inspirational. <laughs> but then, one day, everything changed. Da -da -da. <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. I think I forgot to do one of my chores or something. And my dad decided to give me the worst punishment imaginable. Colin knows the story. <laughs> the worst punishment imaginable. A robotics competition. With, with computers, robots, and dare I say it, math. <sighs> I didn't really know what to expect. Maybe a bunch of nerdy boys hunched over their computers, punching away at their calculators, avoiding all social interaction. Oh, now you can change it. Yes, oh yes, okay. But this was certainly not what I walked into. It was this really cool and friendly environment, everyone helping each other out with their things, sharing ideas, and just having fun. It was absolutely nothing like I thought it was. Um, one of the teams even let me have a go at driving one of their robots, and ever since, I've been hooked. Me and my brother have been competing and loving robotics ever since. But then, I had to enter an entirely different universe. High school. <laughs> As I started getting involved with STEM subjects, I began to realize how the things I built on my robot could be explained and even improved by what I was learning in things like physics and math. All of a sudden, these subjects really started to interest me. They finally had a purpose. They actually made sense. But just as I started taking an interest in STEM, I noticed that the other girls in my year began to veer away from it, like it was the plague. There were only four girls in my entire physics class, and last year, there were only two of us in my calculus class, out of like 30 people. <laughs> and we were at this turning point in our lives, where we began endlessly worrying about pe what people say or think about what we do. Things like technology and science, oh, where am I? Oh. Things like technology and science were seen as boring, nerdy, geeky, and antisocial. For us teenagers, the fear of being given any of these labels or appearing different to our peers, made us shy away from giving any of these subjects a chance. Another important moment for me was when later that year, my dad, yes again, <laughs> um, signed me up for, to volunteer for an, for an OMG Tech event, without telling me until the night before, may I add. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, OMG Tech is a really cool um, organisation which aims to help um, all Kiwi kids um, especially from lower decile schools, learn about how cool technology and STEM stuff can be. Um, no surprise, I really didn't want to go. After all, I'm just a kid. I can't help anyone. No one wants my help. Um, so I decided to volunteer for the robotics workshop where we taught kids how to program robots through a maze. So in came the first group of kids. The majority of the boys rushed over to the robots, yelling and shrieking in excitement, pushing in front of each other to get in line. And that's when I noticed them. Three young girls standing off to the side, looking like they really didn't want to be there. So I went over and introduced myself. After showing them the basic functions of the robots and how simple they actually were, they started zooming ahead. Funnily enough, they were, one of the, they were basically the first team to finish the entire maze. And at the end of the day, they brought their parents over to me, telling them how much they loved the robots and how cool they thought coding was. 
Um, I can certainly say the parents were a little shocked at this big change. Suddenly they were like, yes! So, um, yeah. So being the youngest volunteer at the program, I realized that I could actually have one of the greatest impacts on these kids. I really understood how it felt to be a kid new to all of this and being in their position only a few years ago. Being taught by someone your own age is completely different than someone like 20 years older than you. Instead, you're being helped by a friend, guiding you through it, not being told by an authoritative figure how to not screw it up this time. And it, makes you, it made them a lot less nervous to try new things, not being afraid to make mistakes or ask new questions. I've been volunteering for OMG Tech ever since, giving kids what I like to call their light bulb moment. Nope. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Slides. I want their light bulb moment. When they realize that STEM can be incredibly interesting and cool. Nothing like the stereotypes we've been told our whole lives. Just like my light bulb moment five years ago. But why do we need to get more girls into STEM? Why is this so important? First of all, there's no evidence whatsoever that girls are any less capable in any of these fields. However, often we feel less capable or competent due to the stereotypes we've been surrounded by our whole lives. This is how me and those three girls felt, until we realized that it wasn't as difficult and impossible as it seemed. We were capable of doing and at selling at it, but we were just too scared to give it a go. There's so much undiscovered potential and talent as a result of this fear. The lack of women in STEM fields also means an equal lack of female role models to help inspire the new generation. Having the other 50% of the world's brain power on board with STEM could help change the planet. We're missing out on inspiring the people who can help change and improve our future. The, fu the future problem solvers, the creators, and the founders of new discoveries, solutions, and inventions. So today, I'd like to challenge each and every person in the industry to go out into the world and help make this happen. Even those who aren't in the industry, whether you're a parent, friend, or teacher, don't underestimate yourself. You, think, you might think that you, maybe you don't have the knowledge or skill to help. So what? Your support and encouragement can have one of the greatest impacts on helping our girls move forward. We try, and yes, we do struggle to overcome the old-fashioned ideas ingrained into society of what girls can or can't do. But we can't think that we're not part of the problem and its solution. Everyone can have a part in fixing this. Unfortunately, there aren't enough initiatives like OMG Tech or role models out there to help give all our girls this light bulb moment. Local toy stores, where we find the robots, the gadgets, the science kits hidden in the boys section, not in the blindingly pink rows of pretty, perfect Barbie dolls. Yes. Um, we need to encourage and empower our girls to explore the curiosity and how things work, to ask questions, to come up with the crazy ideas, to become the new inventors, creators, and scientists of tomorrow.